Okay, so this morning I wanted to clarify something very important about IIH, which is idiopathic intracranial hypertension. So IIH is caused by high pressure in the brain that gets transmitted to the optic nerves and causes swelling of the optic nerves, a condition called papilledema. But IIH is not, I repeat, not caused by inflammation. I think there's a misconception out there that it's caused by inflammation. In fact, we actually do a spinal tap. We do a spinal tap to confirm the diagnosis of IIH, to confirm that there's high pressure in the brain. During that spinal tap, we also check the spinal fluid for inflammation. We look for uh, inflammatory cells, we look for the glucose and the protein in the, in, in the spinal fluid to make sure there's no inf infection or inflammation. So by definition, if there are inflammatory cells in the spinal fluid, it is not IIH. The other thing I want to clarify is that the swelling of the optic nerves is not inflammatory. It is caused by stasis, which means lack of drainage, but it's not inflammatory. The um, analogy I can give you is if you sit very for a very long time with your feet dangling, let's say you're on a long flight, eventually you get swelling of your feet. That is not inflammation. That's simply because you're not moving around, the fluid's not draining. The same thing happens in the eyes with papilledema. If the spinal fluid is not draining properly, again, that gets transmitted to the optic nerves because the optic nerves are connected with the brain and there is swelling, not inflammation.